think for my height, I'm pretty good at my size. And I think my size is fine. I don't think I should be judged. I like how I look. So, yeah. God, <laughs> that question I get often. Um, I actually think I could change. A, I wish I could change a lot of those things, especially my height since I play volleyball. And that's really disadvantage for me, being short. Um, my weight, I mean, I'm pretty comfortable right now with my weight, but I do feel like I would be more comfortable with like, I don't want to say it, like if I weighed less, I guess, yeah. I think that I have a normal height and my shape is fine because um, recently I went to the doctor. So they told me that I was at the appropriate weight for my age. Um, I'm pretty, I give myself confidence all the time. I tell that to myself every day because now social media makes you think that you have to look a certain way in the world or you have to dress a certain way or that you have to apply by rules. So when I look in the mirror, I think I'm perfect in my own eyes. Well, compared to when I was younger or even last month, I'm a little more confident. I can't stop looking in the mirror because I'm, I'm happy with how I look. So it's like... I'm happy I was created this way. I love my parents for that. I think God made me the way I'm supposed to be, and I like the way I look, the way I sound. Everything about me is me, so I like it. I wouldn't change anything. I would want to change a couple things about myself, like such as my acne, because when I see um, girls, not even celebrities, just girls that I know in general with clear skin, I'm just like, why can't I have that skin, you know? So I do feel a little um, self-conscious about that. No, I wouldn't want to change anything about my parents. I think I've been going through life good so far with my parents. So people tend to like me. I don't really have problems with, like nobody really makes fun of how I look. So I think that I'm okay. Hello and welcome to You Are Not Alone, a new series for teens and young adults going through growing pains. I'm your host, Vanessa Escobar. Before we begin, let me just say that this series seeks to unpack the issues and pressures teens like myself face, such as bullying, depression, sex, self-esteem, and the list can go on. Um, it is my hope that after watching the show, you will be better informed, but more importantly, leave with a sense that you are going through is normal and you are not alone. Um, on the show, we are going to address the issue of body image. We all have a body image, but as you saw in the opening, some of us struggle with how we see ourselves in the mirror. Here with me to discuss this topic is Amber Montalvo and Karina Mondesir. Before we start throwing the term around, let's first define what is body image. Body image is how we perceive ourselves visually, how we feel about our physical appearance, what we think to ourselves and about our bodies. Our overall body image ranges from very positive to very negative. A person with positive body image has a realistic perception of their body and enjoys the body that they're in. Karina, how do you see yourself in the mirror? Um, well, today I see myself as a beautiful woman. Um, it took me a while to get there. But today I'm, you know, I'm happy with the way I look. Do I think there are things I could change? Of course. But for now, I'm, I'm comfortable, I should say. I'm comfortable in my body, yeah. Um, positive body image also involves understanding that healthy, attractive bodies come in many shapes and sizes, and that physical appearance says very little about our character and our values as a person. Beauty comes in all shapes and sizes. Amber, how comfortable are you with your shape and your size? Um, I'm pretty comfortable so far compared to how I was a couple years ago. Um, but again, I do feel like I could change um, slightly my size, I guess, compared to how I see people like on TV or just my friends in general. Okay. Um, is there anything about your physical appearance you wish you could have worked on, maybe changed about yourselves? Um, I would say my, my skin, because I struggle with eczema. So from, um, from birth, I have really, um, I have challenges with having um, soft skin or just having um, glowing skin, as you would say. So I do suffer from that and acne on top of it. So that's kind of a, um, kind of hinders me from feeling more comfortable with how I look. Um, I would definitely say like my weight, um, cause I, it's something I've struggled with for a long time. Um, and well, luckily I've been 
um, changing about it, like, little by little. It's baby steps. I mean, I wish it could be overnight. Like, whoa, it's done. I don't got to worry about it. But it's something that I continue and continuously and I can't speak <laughs> it's something that I'm working on you know and continue to work on and it's getting better so when studying this topic one question that came to mind is the concern with weight or shape more prevalent amongst male or females in one study of college students 74.4 percent of the normal weight women stated that they thought about their weight or appearance all the time or frequently but the women weren't alone. The study also found that 46% of normal weight men surveyed responded the same way. So it's not necessarily just women mm -hmm. are the ones that are worried about how they look. It's also, you know, men as well. Um, there are a number of factors that influence body image. Uh, comments from family, friends, and others about the, our, their, and other people's bodies, both positive and negative. Um, over the course of your life, what comments have you heard regarding your appearance? Oh wow, um, <laughs> that I could go back to yesterday. Uh, my sister told me I was like a man, <laughs> like I had really broad shoulders. I guess because I play volleyball, so I've been was, working out a lot. I heard that too. Um, and a couple years ago, um, I guess when I was ten, my mom told me I was gaining too much weight. She didn't, she didn't say like in a harsh way, but I took it in a harsh way, mm -hmm. and I did change that. So um, I guess like what your family thinks about you does have a big impact on you. Oh yeah. Family definitely impacts. Cause on my mother's side of the family, everybody is, is heavy. You know, um, it's just everybody's kind of heavy, and so weight has been talked about nonstop in my family, and it ain't always in positive ways. Mm -hmm. You know, the way they they'll talk to you is like, oh, you need to lose weight. Oh, that's too tight. Oh, that's this, and y'all need to lose weight before y'all say something. No, <laughs> that. But no, but you know, it's been this like. There's comments here and there from the family, like, oh, you're too big for that, or whatever that is, and it's like, oh, but I need to lose weight, too, because that suddenly makes okay, like what you just said. It makes you feel a type of way. Yeah, yeah. It, it always does, and then it's, it sucks when you lose weight, and then they're still like, you need to lose weight. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's like they don't really realize all the, like, okay. the effort you're putting. You know, mm -hmm. that those, right, that those 10 pounds that I lost don't count, okay, mm -hmm. thank it's you. It's either you're too big or you're too skinny. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and I've also um, been called a drag queen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. It's, it's cuz I'm tall and I love like glittery stuff. Like uh -huh. I have these like I mean they're kind of drag queen shoes. But I've been called a drag queen but yeah, that that wasn't very nice. <laughs> uh what comments have you heard other people say regarding themselves and their bodies? Uh, my best friend has definitely complained about her being too skinny. She wish she would she could gain more weight. She wish she could be like me, what she said once. I'm like, I wish I could be like you. So it's funny how you hear each other co um, complain about each other and you wish you could be like about each other. So if one person can accept you, why can't you accept yourself? Um, I hear like variations from my friends. Sometimes it's about, a lot of times it's about weight. Sometimes it'll be things like hair or something. I wish I could change my hair. One of the things I hear a lot though, like my friends who are like average size, they're not, heavy will be like I'm fat and then I'm just like but what do you mean you're fat <laughs> and it's there's always something I think everybody feels uncomfortable in their own bodies yeah. and so even if they don't to you you're like oh you're totally normal size you mm -hmm. just they feel I feel fat I'm fat and then I get yelled at if I call myself fat that's I love my friends but that's yeah. what happens like mm -hmm. it's I guess that's just how they I guess feel it's just in the eye of the beholder yeah the basically you're, you're I think people are always you're always the most critical of yourself mm -hmm. yeah like you, are your own you look at yourself right. and you're just like oh I can change that oh my god look at this and mm -hmm. I think that's what happens and it's like I'm huge and then no you're not from another person mm -hmm. and it's, it's sort of like you overanalyze mm -hmm. what oh yeah it's like looking on. at a picture that you really loved for too long mm -hmm. <laughs> like you just it's like I love this profile picture and then like after 10 minutes of looking you're just like oh my god <laughs> why did I make this my profile mm -hmm. picture exactly yeah. Um, exposure to images of idealized versus normal bodies. Uh, the media plays a big role in this. In media, we have two extremes of the ideal shapes. At first, it was a model being thin. And then it was curves. And it wasn't even average curves. It was curves like Jennifer Lopez and Beyonce. And let's not forget Kim Kardashian. And other ones. Recently, some very provocative photos of her were released that created quite the buzz. What effects does images like this have on how teens and young adults see themselves or you see each other? 
Well, of course, anyone who sees someone who gets a lot of publicity, a lot of attention from men, they ask themselves, why can't I look like that? Maybe if I look like her, then I would get the same attention. So it, um, it makes young people question themselves, like, um, how, what can I do to make myself look like her? Mm -hmm. Or what, what is it about me that doesn't give me the same attention that she gets? So it really does um, affect how people look at themselves. Oh, definitely. And you said it all, basically, but it's these ideal body types that people are talking about. And when you don't look like that, it's like, I want to look like that. Mm -hmm. But it's like, your body will never look like that. I'll never have a body like Kim Kardashian. First of all, her really big. I don't know if I want that. <laughs> but, but, like, it's.